once again in Argentina. I can't believe what my eyes are seeing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a way to start the day. <laughs> so we decided to stop off at a bodega called Piatelli. Excited to tuck into all this amazing food and enjoy these views over Cafe Jate with the mountains in the background. We are right in the center of Cafe Jate. Finally, Argentina literally has everything. Look how diverse it is. This is terrifying. I don't know how I got here on the way here, let alone back. And the next stop is the Los Castillos rocks, which are known as the Titanic rocks because as you can see, it looks like they're sinking. And you haven't been to Argentina already, get yourself here. It is absolutely outrageous. Wow, and we've just walked into El Amphitheatro. And look at this. We're Craig and Kirsty, a full-time travel couple sharing our adventures here on YouTube. We upload new travel content every week from different parts of the world. Right now we're making our way through the entire country of Argentina and exploring everything it has to offer. If you enjoy seeing new places and real experiences, please subscribe and welcome to the adventures of Tide Not Travellers. on day two. Just had a lovely little sleep in the Angostaco Hostel Hotel and we are out nice and early. Had a little breakfast this morning which consisted of what we're finding is quite popular in Argentina, white bread, butter and jam. <laughs> so not the healthiest start but you know it's all good. And we woke up to the sound of eagles this morning when we woke up for sunrise which was pretty nice. Did you like that? Funny yeah it was amazing. <laughs> I was out there getting some footage of sunrise and they were just chasing each other around yeah. in the village. So cool. It's amazing, you can already see the beginning of the wow. Fletcher's rock formations around here. So excited. It's so yeah. just down the road. Yeah, so we're going to head out and see them in this early morning sunshine that we have and then head off to Cafe Jardé, get there for about lunchtime and have a little explore there. The scenery is unreal. This must be how it feels to drive on the road. Route to 40. This is it. <laughs> Imagine living in Angostaco and just driving through this scenery all the time. It must just get normal almost, but how can you ever get used to this? <laughs> Good morning, Route 40. Once again in Argentina, I can't believe what my eyes are seeing. This is some unique landscape. We can't, we just can't keep moving on this journey. We have to keep stopping. This is insane. how bumpy this Route 40 is. You cannot go quickly, but why would you want to? This feels really surreal being here. Everywhere in Argentina, this, the landscape just blows my mind. I can't believe we're still in the same country where we saw Glacier Pareto Moreno and uh, the Devil's Throat and just the, the landscape of Patagonia being so different to this. Just this part of Argentina is definitely like so different to anything I've ever seen before in my life. So. Highly recommend doing this drive slowly because you have to and because also you want to. <laughs> We're only about 20 minutes into our journey this morning as well. <laughs> We've already stopped about three times. It's just amazing. We've just arrived at one of the main viewing areas. You can see the road goes through the narrow canyons. And if I spin around, we've just come through a really narrow canyon or gap um, in the rocks there. So there's a little walkway that we're gonna do just over here to this viewpoint and I can't wait to see the views. Monumento Natural Angostaco. Wow, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs>
Quebrada de las Flechas is a narrow valley between two mountain ranges and directly translates to Valley of the Arrows, named so due to the shape of these rock layers that look like spears pointing towards the sky. The scenery here shows over 20 million years of natural history, and although this section of the famous Ruta 40 road is not an easy drive, we think it's worth the trouble to be here. We were so pleased we spent the night in Angostaco last night, because it meant we were able to get up early and enjoy this place in the fresh morning sunlight. Depending on the time of day you visit, the naturally occurring formations change colour, ranging from red to yellowish ochre. As you can see, we entered via a narrow trail, which was only a short walk from where we left the car, and led us to this lookout point, offering these incredible views of the gorge and surrounding area. place to ourselves. This is insane. You can literally hear a pin drop, it's so quiet. It's really strange. <laughs> so glad we stayed overnight in Angostaco and didn't miss this. We would have missed it by like 30 minutes and driven through it in the dark. This would imagine? have been absolute sacrilege to drive through this in the dark. This yeah. is incredible. <laughs> and to have it all to ourselves, we've been here for about 10 minutes and we've just done a little hike up to this viewpoint. You can just see our car just down there. Views for days. <laughs> just the road twisting through this rock formation. And what's amazing, they're really spiky, but they all sit at about, I don't know, 40 degrees angle or something. So everything is sort of facing this way. It looks like some kind of fantasy land. This is like, it's really surreal. And the fact that we've not been awake for very long, my brain can't quite comprehend what we're seeing. <laughs> Walking along a bit further because there's different vantage points you can get to. And you can see the dry riverbed just running through here. Oh, we've got a beautiful day for it as well. Absolutely insane. It does feel like we're on another planet. And off into the distance behind Kirsty, you can just see layers and layers of these rocks just going off, off towards the horizon. And just for scale in this vast landscape, there you can see Kirsty. How's your Fletcher? <laughs> Don't want to leave this place, but time to jump back in the car and head on to Café Jate. And no doubt we're going to see incredible scenery en route and uh, make many more stops. <laughs> <laughs> So we just left the gravelly roads and we've arrived in the small town of San Carlos. That's the square just behind me and Kirsty has just popped into this little cafe and there's a couple of dogs. They just ran away. Who <laughs> I think now have disappeared. Just I was trying to order coffee, I was getting my legs licked, got these cute little white fluffy pups. Hopefully they'll come back for more cuddles. I like San Carlos. It's cute, but it's a near quick coffee stop because we need to get to Café Jardin. <laughs> so yeah, really sweet, lovely little cafe that we found. The lady offered us some pan with our coffee, which is bread. We were hoping to get something sweet with it, but it's kind of like um, crackery bread. It's just like dry, savoury, stale bread. <laughs> ah, hi guys, look who's back. Do you want cuddles again, do you? Hello. Oh, well, you are so cute and friendly, aren't you? Time to leave cute little San Martin and go on for the final leg of the journey to Cafe Jate. Cute place, but yeah, not the best coffee. <laughs> So 
So we decided to stop off on the edge of Cafe Jate at a bodega called Piatelli. You can just see we're driving past the vineyard now. Down through the entrance area, vineyard either side of us. We didn't have a reservation or anything, but the security guard, Carlos, said we can just go on in and get ourselves some lunch. So we're pretty happy about that. <laughs> go on, Carlos. <laughs> Love a funny security guard. So we have arrived at the bodega of Piatelli in the town of Cafajate and quite a it looks beautiful. Yeah. I'm going to stop here so that I can talk about what's behind us before I show you this. We've seen pictures of it, it looks stunning and I can see it in front of us now and I can tell you it is absolutely <laughs> stunning. <laughs> also so are the views behind us. Yeah, I feel like we might be a little bit underdressed for how smart this winery is, but hopefully that, they won't mind us riffraff going in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just for lunch and to try some different wines. Yeah. Also, there's cacti right at the entrance, so Craig's happy about that. They're pretty cool, impressive cacti as well. <laughs> they are awesome. But in the background, you can see the mountains that we drove through yesterday, yeah. and you can see the slopes and the vineyards going down into Cafe Jate, and you can see said cacti <laughs> that Kirsty just mentioned and lavender all around us both well. sides of us as well as the vineyards and just look at this entrance wow I hope we can get some lunch and wine here yeah we'll get some wine <laughs> inside Piatelli, we went to see the maitre d' and she sorted us out on the table even though we didn't have a reservation so we are really thankful, they've been so nice to us. For a place that's this high standard with views like this, we are amazed that we had to just wait 20 minutes and we got a table. We've just ordered a couple of salads and then the waiter gave us his recommendation of wines to have with that. We've both gone for a Malbec, we don't know the specific one but <laughs> it was recommended and it's a local wine from here. So yeah, what a fantastic lunch for us. So yeah, look at the view we have, it's amazing. Food has just arrived. I've got the greenest salad I think I've ever seen. It's got avocado, arugula, and green apple, cucumber, everything green you can think of and some cashews thrown in there. And I've got some potatoes on the side, which have got like a flavoring, haven't tried it yet. Um, the bread was great and it's like the, beans were so flavoury and really tasty and Craig has gone for a chicken salad which Craig's not usually a salad person but he's pretty excited by this salad it looks incredible he's got nuts on it got a lovely looking sauce over the chicken and he got like a side of some creamy mashed potatoes so yeah it's looking pretty amazing this is nice this is a pretty good welcome into Kafajati for us <laughs> That was such a fantastic stop off at Piatelli. We can't recommend it highly enough. Absolute and treat. It was an absolute <laughs> steal. I cannot believe how much we paid for that stop off. Oh. And thank you so much Piatelli for fitting us in as yeah. well. Without any reservation, we really appreciate it. And these views, I just, I can't believe. I have to, we had to pinch ourselves that we were in there. Like, you know, we're traveling the world. We tend to keep things pretty low key and uh, pocket friendly <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair this experience was it just didn't feel like it um, it's just yeah like a five-star experience with these views and we love our bodegas in Argentina <laughs> been to a few in Mendoza and now here in Cafe Jate and now we're gonna go and see the town and we can't wait to drive back don't worry Craig's only had one glass <laughs> <laughs> let's put it this way if we stopped this kind of place in England it would have been at easily four times the price if not five four or five times easily. and they were so down to earth there's no sense of snobbery there at all it's just lovely and they were happy to have us yeah but right now on to Cafe Jate and we need to hit Ruta 68 because there's still so much to see today today is great what a great day <laughs> <laughs> let's go A 
very short 10 minute drive down the hill from Piatelli and we are right in the center, slap bang in the middle of Cafe Giate. Finally. Beautiful. The sun is shining. There's this beautiful yellow church on the side of us here. We're in the main square. Um, we wish we had longer here. I think most people spend a night or two here and I can see why there's quite a lot going on. But We've also... already been saying we're probably going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> if we can come back, yeah, definitely. Wow. Just look at this beautiful church. Some cool architecture. Right here in the middle of the square in Cafe Jardin. I know we're right in the centre, but it does feel like the place to be here in Cafe Giate. Just walk past some bike tour places and there's a mini bus taking people out on tours. There's some restaurants by the side and some bars. Can you tell we're gutted not to have more than just a few hours here? There's even some market stalls in the middle of town as well. Surrounded by mountains anyway, it's kind of like a mini, a very mini Salta. We could stay here for a bit longer, but we're also aware that the journey back is beautiful and we want to see that in the daylight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need to see Route 68, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, can't wait to see what's ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if you can tell, but we would definitely recommend this route. Yeah, I mean, we've traveled at this point, we've traveled the entire country of Argentina, north to south and back up again. And this is one of the highlights for me. Like it's in the top five for me. It's really nice architecture as well, as you saw the main cathedral building. We've also got some of that architecture, the desert type towns that we saw, or villages that we saw like Kachi and just the way they painted some of the buildings and yeah. it's really beautiful and all the towns seem to have a main hub like a main square yeah even the tiny tiny little places that we drove through yeah even little san see, carlo had it <laughs> yeah they painted white stones and made like a little mini town community square from it and whether you go to tourist places like this or very untouristy places like uh, san carlos the people are still super friendly Just off of the main square, there's this market area as well. It's lovely, all local made stuff. Hola. Buena. Buena. Really wish we had more time to just hang around and look through these markets, but we really need to hit Route 68 and uh, finish our journey. But it feels like there's so much more to see here. But yep, yeah, let's head off. Argentina literally has everything. Look how diverse it is. Vineyards, mountains, High plateaus, beaches, forests, rainforests, and now we have... Sandy desert. Some huge sand dunes. Just look at it this side. This big ridge that just drops off. And then you've got the Andes in the background. Just look how sparkly the sand is and completely untouched except for our footprints because the wind has been blowing it so it's got these perfect ripples across it. And then we've just come and trod on it and ruined it all. <laughs> Worth scrambling and ruining our trainers to get here. <laughs> so it doesn't look like the sand dunes are very wide in this direction, but if you look in this direction, which I think is kind of a northwest southeast direction, they run for a long distance. Yeah, and again, there's no one here, which I'm not surprised given the track we just had to come down to get here. We had to literally climb across some branches in the water and <laughs> jump and hope, really. Yeah, there's some <laughs> flash flooding in this part of the world. Nothing to soak it up, it just runs over that really dry surface. We don't want to leave the car sat there yeah. for too long. It was just down an off-road trail and we parked it on the side, so... Time to get back down. My turn, woo! <laughs> Much easier going down than it is up. <laughs> and we've seen some really cool little sand lizards as well. They're so brightly coloured. This one's caught a bug. <sighs> this is terrifying. I don't know how I got her on the way here, let alone back. Yeah, take my hand. Yeah. You need to go for it. Oh. Oh. 
You did well. <laughs> Your turn. Can you catch the keys? I got rocks which are known as the titanic rocks because as you can see it looks like they're sinking stunning this drive is so scenic already we're about 20 minutes in <laughs> yeah it's one of the famous rock formations to see on route 68 you can see they're dipping or slanting at about 15 degrees got this beautiful river running in front of the rocks and there's a lot of erosion because this is all breaking off into the river it's pretty windy here and we've got some more rock formations to see on the way and some other more viewpoints to get to and we don't have that many hours left of daylight <laughs> <laughs> on to the next stop let's go let's go about five minutes up the road and this is El Obelisco rock as you can see there's just a casual couple of condors or eagles circling it looking magnificent just this the geology around here is stunning anyone else think that the obelisco looks like the sorting hat from Harry Potter is it just me yeah the obelisco looks so cool but something that I really love is just over here the different layers the different cliffs that you've got and then that red rock, it just, it looks like we're on Mars. I've never ever seen anything like this before. This part of the world, we really have felt like we're on another planet from the Fletchers this morning. So, so unique, it's so cool. And if I turn around this way, you can see exactly what made all of this. The river running through the valley there. Frog rock. Any guesses why? <laughs> I love that someone's put a little stone there to make sure that in case you didn't realise that's a frog, there's his eye there. And he also looks like he could be in Harry Potter, as well as the sorting hat. But look, look at the scenery behind him. <laughs> he's like, he's pretty dinky in comparison to this backdrop. It's amazing. I highly recommend this drive. We have about an hour and 30 minutes left of sunlight and we are soaking up every minute <laughs> of this drive. He's cute, I like him. <laughs> El Sapo is the name of the frog and he does look very cool. We've driven on about 10 minutes from the previous stop, um, the Obelisco, and there's another stop between here and Obelisco. Um, it's called Fuel. I'm not sure how, quite how you pronounce it, but it's of all this geology in this valley. The rock's gone a lot more of a browny, reddy colour and uh, I mean Route 68 is just amazing. Don't know what else to say, I've run out of superlatives for this valley but yeah imposing best sums it up. Right time to hit the next stop. Point over this valley with all these rocks here. Stunning. Definitely got a fair amount of exercise today and there are so many places to stop along the way back. So yeah, I'm glad we seem to have left ourselves just about enough time to see everything. But yeah, we have to go at some pace. <laughs> this is the valley that we've just driven along to get to this viewpoint and if we haven't said it already and you haven't been to Argentina already, get yourself here. It is absolutely outrageous. Stop it Argentina, just stop it. The last bit of sun above the mountain reflecting off the river. 
beautiful, beautiful, stunning, spectacular Argentina. Cool. Wow, and we've just walked into El Amphitheatro. And look at this. Wow. I thought it was going to be like an amphitheatre that I've been in before, but obviously this is nature's amphitheatre. Yeah. So it's dug into the rock formation and it kind of feels ominous as you walk in. It's such a narrow slither that you walk through and then you come into this round bowl. There's people singing. Yeah, as <laughs> it's very you're. Very echoey. I'm going to sing in a minute. Don't crack out your Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all eroded. This is all eroded out to create this amphitheatre. Really cool. It feels like we're in um, in Jordan, in Petra. Yeah. It feels like we're in Raiders of the Lost Ark or something <laughs> like that. But you see all the layers again. It's quite cool coming here at the end of the day because you can just see like slithers of the sunlight breaking through. Really the sunlight cool. is literally just above the mountains over there <laughs> and making it in. Yeah. So it's so tenuous that the sunlight is making it into here at this time of day. We've made it just in time, I think. Yeah. Probably one of the busier viewpoints. There's quite a lot of yeah. people here, but understandably, it's a really spectacular place to see. And golden hour as well. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we've got one final main viewpoint that we'd like to see, and then we're going to drive back to a couple of towns and go back to Salta and sleep. <laughs> yes. It's been a fantastic but full on couple of days. Yeah. And we've made it to the final site on this epic two-day Route 40 and Route 68 trip. Yeah, it's been insane. This one is the Garganta del Diablo, but the dry one, the wet one <laughs> like in Iguazu. This one we can actually go inside, unlike the one in Iguazu where you would die if you went inside. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't come out of that one very well. This one, we're hoping so. Yeah, this hoping one looks cool. Well. This just looks like a, a dry tunnel throat thing <laughs> into <laughs> the rocks. It's actually quite similar to Amphitheatro, um, but yeah, I guess it was carved out by a, a waterfall running through here at some point, but... It looks like something's drilled into it, like walking into it. Dramatic, again, like everything we've seen over the last couple of days. Yeah, it's so. definitely a lot more rocky, <laughs> a lot more treacherous underfoot yeah. as you walk up into here, but yeah, check Maybe. it out. And that was Garganta del Diablo. Thank you so much for watching and we really hope you've enjoyed seeing this stunning part of Argentina with us. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. And <laughs> really hit that us. subscribe button, please. It yeah. really helps our channel. We are absolutely shattered. We've had an incredible couple of days, but we've still got about a two hour drive back to Salta now. And uh, we're gonna get back and chill out. <laughs> and we will see you on the next video really soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much Bye. for watching. Bye. Join us next time for part three of Northern Argentina as we explore the Jojoy region, starting with a four hour drive north of Salta to another desert town before making the steep ascent from Humahuaca to another high altitude spectacular feat of nature, the Hornicle 14 colored mountain. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tide Not Travelers, or for exclusive behind the scenes content, we'd love you to join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. It's still filming and it's upside down. <laughs> oh, amazing. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, GoPro. <laughs> yep, and cut.
normal almost, but how can you ever get used to this? Like, insane. Do you want to try some uh, pan? Oh, you try it first. It's okay, she gave it to you. 